What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Girls in the City podcast. This is Sarah. This is Jeannie. Hi, guys. It's Loka. Hello, Elsie. That was way better than last it episode. Because yeah. <laughs> last time we sounded like four. <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of dead. We didn't know. We were in the clouds. Anyways. <sighs> okay, guys. So last week and well, last last episode, we went in on men. Not in, in. We could go in. We could go worse. We could yeah. really go worse. But we're going to give. We're going to, you know, we're going to. We're going to spice things up and, and sw- flip the switch today. So some person, I don't, do you guys know who he is? I don't I know have who no he is, idea. He goes by the name of Guyad Apparel LLC. He says, okay, well, I don't want to be coming home from work all week, busting my behind to come home to dirty dishes, no meal prep, made, bed made, or kids aren't fed either. It's a For fan. five days or whatever, many weeks. And then he goes, fix it. Because I guess, Sarah, you was like, fix it. So he was just like, fix it. <laughs> Well, Gouillard, you're in for it today, let me tell you. Right, because there, there's bitches that ain't shit either, and that's... Yeah, so that's our topic for today. Yeah. We're going to go in... We'll, we'll give you a little response. We're going to respond to you, and that's actually what we like. We want this, guys. We want you guys to comment, let us know what you want to hear, debate, whatever, guys. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about ain't shit women, okay? Because right. they're we're just as bad as men, but... We're Maybe just as bad as men because of them. But we're going to get into that a little later. That'll be that'll be the the end result of and our why we ain't shit. Well, some women ain't shit. Women that ain't shit that I want to talk about that's very personal to me is women that don't take care of their kids. Mm. Okay? So, I witness a lot of women out there that take care of themselves before their children, okay? Now, again, designer, hair done, makeup done, nice shoes, clean clothes, iron, slick, like everything to the T. Then you see the kid walk out. The kid got Raggedy. a dirty ass shirt, hasn't been ironed, looks like he hasn't showered in four days. His teeth got yellow stains. Boogers and, on his nose. But boogers, dry boogers in his nose. And it's like, why does it look like you just rolled out of a mansion and your son looks like he came out of a freaking, I don't know, the trash can? And like, you know seriously. What, you know what's the crazy part with that? They don't have not one kid. They have one, two, three, four, five, Correct. six kids. But, but so if you can't take care of the first one, why are you going to keep fucking welfare. having kids? Well, what she said, welfare? <laughs> welfare ass bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry. I nah, said you it. ain't lying, though. Somebody <laughs> had to say it, and that was going to be me because I know plenty of them. That what? They have, like, mad kids for mad welfare? Mad kids and don't work, don't do anything for themselves, and then they're collecting money and buying themselves. Either e- Even if it's, like, the fake Louis purses. Like, get your kids first. You know no, what I mean? Yeah. It's such a disrespect, and especially with academics. Like, your kid, they, it'd be the kids that act up in school that be having the parents that are always, like, you know, are in the club or popping bottles or with their friends. Popping pussy. And, there you go. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your kids first. You know what I'm saying? So that way it, it, it shows a reflection. When your kids is out there, my mom always tells me this all the time. Cuando tu vas para la calle and your kid is out in the streets and shit, like looking crazy, that's a reflection towards you. Of course. And that's yes. true. It's, they, it's they, like, you know how bad people talk about those kind of parents? Like, you, mm-hmm. you, could be, you could be the flyest bitch, but the second your kid got buggers running down their nose and you got these Louis on, you look like the most raggedy as no, And my problem is, is that they, they use the excuse, well, they're just kids. They're going to ruin their clothes. They're going to ruin their sneakers. Bitch, like, no, I don't want to hear that bullshit because if you got time to go get your eyelashes done, get your eyebrows done, do your hair, go get the rollos and that's a on for four or five hours and then your kids are with a bl- abuela like now nah, you got time to go pick up your kids some new clothes go to carter's go to h&m go wherever the fuck no. you need to go and get your kids some it's, new clothes no it's really bad and i had a neighbor i had no, again this is going way back and <laughs> she was at that time she was driving the year car yo like when i every time i seen i was like wow this this lady she's just fucking bad she looks good all the time and one day you know i always played with her kids and with time, I found out their lifestyle kind of thing. And one day I went to the house. Oh, my God. I will never forget this. I opened the door, and all you see is cockroaches walking uh, on the walls. Sucia. Disgusting, bitch. <laughs> walking on the walls. And, again, your kids are complaining because they haven't brushed their teeth in three days. But, like, you're out in the streets looking all fucking amazing. And, and portraying, portraying an image that ain't true. Like, ain't and that's, true. that's the problem with people. Like, And why have ten <sighs> kids if you don't like to be a mom? I, 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 I guess they want the money for the shit they're wearing because I, hmm. when income taxes come around, you got three kids, they're going to get at least fucking well, 11, man, I think, it no, 11 man. mans or whatever it is, yeah, and you're going to go buy yourself stuff. Yeah, I'm, about to have, I'm about to have 10 kids. No, nah, I, 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 I don't think you have to pay taxes after that many kids either. <laughs> you like, know what? After a certain number of kids, this, you don't have to pay taxes. So, really? Yeah, I Yo, think this so. country makes it too easy for these bitches. All right, guys, so 
We had um one of our guests here ask kind of like a question, and his Dennis question asked. was, "Oh, so if you guys see a kid with boogers sitting in his nose, you automatically assume that the parent's a bad parent." I mean, I mentioned dry boogers, okay? Dry boogers, obviously they're dry because they've been sitting at your kid's nose for a couple, okay? <laughs> So, if a parent doesn't notice that your kid has had boogers sitting in his nose and she's right with him, that's a problem. It that is. means that they're more entertained with their phone or their Other surroundings things. and not paying attention to their kid. It takes five seconds to wipe your kid's nose and make sure they don't have boogers, period. I'm sorry. It, Guys, it just, it just, it, that's just the way having, it is. Having kids, you have to be very attentive. Yeah, okay? Absolutely. As, as When you're attentive to your relationship... Uh, to your job, to how you pay your bills, to how you keep up on your social media should always come back exactly how you should be I attentive agree. to and your I, kids. And I think that goes into why women ain't shit because they'll pay more attention to their relationship, to how they look, yes. to social and media, like, and not pay attention to their kid growing up, making sure that they know how to read or write or not. No, or not math. even that. Pay attention to niggas, okay? So a lot and of most these of the girls, time they're side chicks. There we go. Which, and, which yep. now is my turn. Yep. To talk about Ooh. these dumbass bitches. <laughs> okay. I hate side bitches. Okay. Okay. These bitches got no like. I hate the saying when people be like, "Oh, but the woman owes the, owes the other woman no loyalty." Bitch, you're a woman. How don't you, you owe loyalty, loyalty to yourself? I How don't you that. exactly? Forget, forget yourself. If you're not even gonna respect yourself, you mm -hmm. owe me loyalty as a woman. Because mm -hmm. if I was to get with your, then I'm supposed to well, owe you loyalty. Mm -hmm. That's that shit. I don't mm -hmm. believe in that either. Like especially when you're a woman and you blatantly know that the man is either married in a relationship and you're either confiding in that woman, you're having conversations because they're not being entertained by their significant other. Because God knows what their other person doing. They could be right. raising the kids. They could be taking care of the home. They could be working. They could be doing whatever they did. But they're getting a little bit of attention from another bitch. So they're like, oh my god, this is so nice. And like, no, on. and no, no, and a lot of the times, a lot of the times they they. This is this is true. This is a true story. Bitches will look. Don't worry, because you didn't have to turn your head that that way. I'm not gonna talk about you. But bitches, right? Like they secretly watch your life with your man yes. and want that. But that's what I was yes. just gonna say. They're gonna sit there and say, "Well, I didn't know he had a man, bitch. You know everything look, about we're gonna, me. We're gonna get into the fact that you they, know they, everything about me. They know and they want your life, and so they're gonna do because a, a man's gonna be a man no matter what. It's not an excuse, but it's facts. They're gonna be but a man. Right. A girl and a man don't cheat the same. But guess a not. guy can cheat and it be just a fuck, and a and girl can it. cheat and it's but it's, it's, it's more. Emotional. It's more. But yep. what I'm saying is, they'll sit there and watch your life and and want you know, and get him right. Expect him to have the same life, and then you get the washed down version of the. Yeah, you deserve <laughs> that, bitch. Yep, absolutely. You deserve that, bitch. You deserve it. Yep. You. They're thinking they're gonna get this lifestyle that they're not gonna get, and guess what they end up doing? They end up taking the problem off of your hands. And good riddance. God bless you. Yeah. Sayonara, sis. Exactly. Enjoy the problem. Exactly. And now, guess what? Now you got. Now you got your kid, and now you got all my kids with it. Thank you, babysitter. And then be the bitches that be peeping. She went from a side chick to the main chick to the babysitter. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure that when you're buying kids, uh, your kids' shoes, make sure you buy one for mine too. Because okay. don't forget about mine if you want right. to get in the picture. Absolutely. We're all family is, now, sis. Absolutely. Okay. No, what? Buy me a Christmas gift too. All like right. That, I, for real. And my thing is, like, I just don't get how do you feel comfortable being the second choice? Literally. Like, how do you feel comfortable? Listen to me, you dirty ass bitches. How do you feel comfortable being the second option? You don't get taken around the family. You don't get shit. You 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 get a Valentine's gift on the fifteenth. You get the side Like fact. I just don't get. Oh it. no, wait, there satisfied. is some family that welcomes that second woman. I will be everybody's ass in that family. <laughs> and welcomes them <laughs> and doesn't even fucking tell anybody. Not the main bitch. Not the side bitch. And lets it lets the son do whatever they feel. No, and they'll look it at makes you. them oh happy. Like no, fuck out of here. Fuck out of oh here. I like God, to fight. Sarah, I love you. And, and they just. Nah, accepted the next Yeah, bunch. and that's when you need to reevaluate your no yourself, shame, but, your no man, shame, but, the family. Keep it moving, it. sis. I've been in situations where yes, I've been the I've been the main bitch, and then all of a sudden, you know, me and my break up, and you're then still the you main know, bitch. there's a bitch, right? No, you're not. So you're of course still the main we bitch. can't. No, you're not. So 
Yes, Luca. I am still the main, still the main bitch because I've been, the, if I've the been side bitch the man, has been lingering. You're on. number two now. You are no, no longer number one. If nope. I've been with a man for five years, my man cheated on me with you. All of a sudden, I break up with you because you cheated on me, and then you start dating this bitch, and all of a sudden, hmm, I miss that dick. I want it back. I'm not the I'm not the side bitch. I don't give a fuck how many That's years. Mine regardless. Nope. I don't give a fuck how many years me and my nigga been. We've been with a couple months and you're sitting there, you're sidelining, and you're sitting there like, oh, I'm you're plotting. I literally was in a situation where I was in a relationship and the chick, she was fuck that. The bitch was sitting there <laughs> plotting, right? How to get my nigga, right? So as soon as I, me and my nigga took a, you know, a hiatus, you want to call it, because you know how relationships Facts. are nowadays. You know, you guys break up for a little bit. She wants to be swimming in. I go ahead, swim in. But then the side bitch gets mad because she thinks that she's the main bitch. And then the main bitch gets called by the 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 ex, right? So then the, then you got the side bitch calling you. Talk about, oh, why are you talking to my nigga? Why are you talking to my nigga in the first place if you already knew that me and him were in a relationship? What you thought that this was going to be? The be problem is, is that men want everything. They mm -hmm. want it all. They can't just get enough. They can't I, be enough. So I get like, it. But be a woman. Be a woman and recognize it. Like, okay, I get, yes, it's on both parts. It's, it's on your ex we all know that, you know, what, what a man's going to do, he's going to do what he wants, he wants to do what, whatever. I get all that. But bitches, they need to, like, really recognize where they're putting their position in. You know what I'm saying? If if they're, if a man is going through a breakup and you're talking to him and that's all he's doing is finding yeah, you. Yeah, but I think it depends still talking, talking to his girl. Yeah, he's still I, talking to his girl. I don't care I, if he's talking to a new girl. He's still talking to his girl, crying right. to her, begging her, oh, let me come get that. No, period. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but whose position he's, is he's still on position, his knees? What position is he putting that female in? Because if I have, if I was, a, if I was the main bitch, now I'm the second girl and he's putting another girl on a pedestal. This is my girl. This is that. But he's still fucking you. You are the side bitch. He, well, put, then, he put this girl on a pedestal, gave her the label, gave no, her. No, I put no, her on the pedestal because okay. I left them. No, but right. now I want to fuck them when I want because now. So you the you. side bitch. So you I the side you. bitch. It doesn't matter. But I you fuck them when you want. You fuck them when you want. You you didn't put me you on want. the pedestal. I'm never going to be the side bitch because I put you there. I could take you, you back down you anytime. Get, what I happens? choose. Right. If I choose to be the side bitch, that's different. But at the end of the day, I'm still not a side bitch. Another thing, another thing with you side bitches that I can't stand because it's happened to me. Take it how you want to take it. How is it that you're mad at me and you hate me because I broke up with you? Okay. I why do you hate you. me? I gave him to you. Why do you hate the ex? Girl, I know, you know why. why? I know because he because you gave outside. him to him. He didn't no. want to let go of no. you, and that's what she's mad about. No, because but how, don't hate me. It's because you need. Don't hate me. You're I hot and desirable. You. <laughs> Ow. I am, Ow. and I am, and I forever will be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the problem though, what happens is, is that they go in another relationship thinking that they're gonna find what they had with you. Oh no, they know they're not. And that's never gonna happen, and they they're never they're gonna not. get the same love that you gave them because that's one in a lifetime kind of thing. So then you go looking and searching to find it in another bitch and another bitch and another bitch, and guess what? You're never gonna get it because once you mess up that good situation, it's gone forever. Okay. Right. And there's no <laughs> I can give you pointers nah that's aka that's I can, how i can show you how to make them feel good nah it it's true <laughs> it's, it's, uh, okay Luca, go ahead talk about it hold on no. talk about it Luca. we're gonna talk about these side bitches i'll give the main bitches some pointers okay, I think they they fuck these side bitches y'all need to go get yourself check reality check self check go see a and therapist that doesn't do what you, you gotta do that became the main bitch that okay you. you're still a side bitch thank you Labels no 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 shit. How about the side bitches that become the baby mother? He in his head believes that she's the main bitch and you're the side bitch. The thing is that he doesn't believe it, but he's trying to. He, all right, since I broke up with him, right? Since I broke up with him, he has no girlfriend. Let's say he's a needs to be with a girl. He's like, fuck it, I don't got nobody else. I guess you. Well, <laughs> I guess it's gonna be you. So I guess you're gonna be my girl. But in in his head, you I mean, you met men that even if you break up with them, he'll they'll see you at the bar and you're still their bitch. He has to show. Yeah, where you where you at? You're still my bitch, and then you they want to drag you out the club. Like, we've been broke up. Well, you guys <laughs> didn't bring so that's up. That's what I'm saying. You so guys, if they got another girlfriend. If they got another girlfriend, technically in their head and in their heart, you're the number one. So, so you're right, never no. gonna be. The so side we go thing. back to the niggas ain't shit then. So no, no, no. You gotta <laughs> go back to the, the niggas ain't shit that get the side bitch pregnant, and now they think they're still Ooh. the main bitch. These oh. better baby girls. Oh, no, make you the I'm main sorry. Bitch. That's a that's even next level side bitch. If you know <laughs> that your man, the man that you're messing with, has a girl that he be with intimately, right? And you're still raw dogging him. You're a dirty bird. Dirty. You a dirty. Use a hoe. Now we all family.
family, bitch. I guess that you a hoe. All right, I'm done. Kids do <laughs> not make you. It doesn't give you a title. You're just a side bitch with a it kid. It doesn't. With a bastard, that actually. Doesn't. No. Y'all guys need to recognize, ladies. If do you're some a side chick healing. and you had a baby with a married man, your son or daughter is a bastard. Look that up in the dictionary. Yeah, find out what a bastard is. Don't be a bitter baby mother, please. There's good fathers, but then there's bitter baby mothers that don't let fathers be good fathers. Let's talk about those let's bitter baby moms. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it because <laughs> I am I am a baby mother myself. I guess you want to put it that way. Um, but something that I, something that me and I, I will just put an example out there. Me and my bad, me, me and my baby daddy, we get into a lot of arguments because I like, I am the, I'm the peacemaker. So I, my baby daddy had two other kids after me, which I was totally fine with. And I would always be like, all right, let me, let me meet her. Let me meet the baby. Let's just all, let's all communicate. My daughter has two other kids. Like, why would I be that bitter ass baby mother? Like, oh, my baby daddy had another baby with another bitch. It doesn't fucking matter. You guys weren't working out in the fucking first place, so you guys are going to keep it moving. Right. Mm -hmm. No, but then there's some bitches that want to be hanging on to that. You guys need to let that go because then there's good fathers that do want to be there for their kids. But then there's bitter baby bitches that don't let them be bitter, that. Bitter baby bitches. <laughs> God, you see how I was it, right? There's bitter baby mothers that act like they have some type of leeway or title or control or they're entitled because to, they had a kid because right, they so had a kid with that person me, you didn't it, give me 20 dollars this week you can't see your daughter no, yeah, no that's that shit not. and we're in 2022 learn how to fucking co-parent okay like be grown put your feelings aside okay whatever you have going on between the mother of your child and the, the father of your child put that shit aside and raise your child because you know who's gonna suffer your, your child your child's gonna suffer yes so if your child is very not much equally seeing their both parents He's going to suffer or she's going to suffer. And it's like, yo, do what you got to do. Put your feelings to the side. Be a man. Be a woman because you are both man and woman enough to be in bed. Moment, lay up. Yeah. Have the kid. Now mm -hmm. take responsibility. Raise your kid. Put your feelings aside and do, what, do what's right. That's mm -hmm. it. Be a fucking Shoot. woman. Do what you got to do. Don't sit there and be like, oh, my don't want to be with me, so I'm going to make his life a living hell. That ain't right. You're ruining it for you your know, kid. They, your, your baby daddy want to be with you? Keep it fucking moving. Learn that it's for the better of the fucking child. Your child needs two parents. And, and who wants says to be it's with 2022, someone, right? Who wants to be with someone that don't want them? Right. And it's 2022. There's a lot of men who don't mind playing stepdaddy. <laughs> no. And that's, Fact, and that, that's, that's right. that saying where, and this goes back to these ain't shit women. A lot of women become bitter when they break up with uh, a man, and again, that they have a kid with. And it's that saying where child support isn't for isn't for um, bad dads, if not for, I mean, is for bad dads, not dads that aren't in a relationship yeah, anymore. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of these women, as soon as they break up with their kids, you know what happened? Oh, I'm going to put the on child support. But you Why know can't what? you be... That's Why can't you be cordial though? Because I'm gonna tell you, if I'm cordial with the, if we can co-parent, I'm gonna get more out of that man without child support than I am on child support. I agree mm -hmm. with that. I, I am because what am I gonna get out of child support? They're gonna be paying 150. The state's taking 50, and I'm getting 100. dollars That's true, but there's men that could be the best dads in the world, and as soon as they break up, they go ghost on the kids. Well, because, because they, they become bitter. bitter. That's what I'm saying. So you're getting child support. You're getting part of child support. So the to, I'm gonna take out even the last pennies. No, no. You. But in my instance, it's the women that become petty. Like they when do. a man doesn't want to be with them, they use that kid like That's as true. a pawn. And it's like, all right, I'm gonna go put you on child support because I want to make your life a living hell. Or right. you got a new relationship, so I'm gonna make your relationship a living hell. Well, I'm gonna put you on child support. Okay, but what you if the situation I mean? is now that you're whining and dying your new girlfriend, but you're not buying your kid pampers? But exactly. That's exactly. put him on child you're support. No, you're no longer a bitter. You're not. You're not putting him on child support because you're bitter. You're putting him on child support because he needs to take care of his yeah. kid. If your baby father is literally willing to help you all on a 50 50 basis, then you shouldn't put him on child support. I agree with then that. Then there's no. parents that if he ain't doing shit, put him on child support. A lot of the and then times, there's though, dumb bitches like me that go eight years without doing anything and don't put their kids on. But child I feel support. like we can't just say it all about the bitter baby moms because the thing is that like. Once a breakup happens, I, I want women to understand me on this. And it's not for every woman, but it's 98% of them. The wo Listen to me, ladies. The woman always gets stuck with the kids, bro. You become, yeah. you go crazy with these motherfucking kids. And you're bitter. And you, don't, you don't get that 50-50. No matter Cause, what. Because the dad always has them either every other weekend, once a week. And we got to stay with these kids for weeks on end. And so you become, you go fucking crazy. You see this. this
taking the kid once a week. Then he gets to go to the bar. He gets to wake up when he wants. He but gets you to do know, whatever the fuck he wants. You know, Bro, it, it goes back. Yep. That kind makes of, you bitter. But yep. it goes back to kind of like the system. Because, again, when you go and fight for a child in a court system, guess who's, guess who's back the judge has? The, the women. At the end of the day. Why? Because when it comes to a child... We have more of a sense of a care. We have more, again, we have the emotional attachment to our kids. Where a man, it's kind of like they're just gonna raise them to be a man. Where we're gonna give them the nurture, we're gonna love them, we're gonna. Uh, I'm so tired them. of that argument though, Look, I'm yeah. so tired I of that. Know, we're in 2022. Like a man can come in and raise their child the same way a woman can. No. I agree. Sorry. It's different. I'm sorry. It's not. It's, no. not. it's no. not. It's not. I agree. I agree with Sarah. If, because no. if the man comes into a picture, I died today. The, the father of my child. Needs to get the fuck up and do what he needs to do. He the will, same thing, he but he's not gonna be as good as it's what you. Not, would. It's a mom, will, a dad will never give the the no, child the never, same love as. Never, like for example, never, never, I, never, if let's say me and, me and me and me and Chris have never. a kid, right? And I become, I I don't know. It's, it's a, I'm not a mom. But I've seen this time and time again where the mother is just by nature more yeah, it's nurturing. Yes. The dad's not going to be like, come here, baby. Yes. Let me cuddle with you. Unless, unless shout, when out, God, shout out to George. George will definitely do that. When God, but created, it's not okay, see, when God created Adam and Eve, he made a man and he made a woman for that purpose. Right. It was that purpose. A man was designed, God designed a man a certain way. He designed a woman a certain way. That's why he made the woman the carer, the caregiver, the one that can carry a baby because yeah, exactly. a man is so you think that the man's going to go and decorate a home no no do this I, no they can't nurture. I disagree they can, but they, but it's, not not. it's not the same it's not in their it's nature it's not that it doesn't exist but it's rare it's not in their nature okay but I was going to say that but if you're a single dad maintaining control and you're wow. coming a you're coming you upon Christmas dad. okay you're coming upon Christmas it's your, it's your kid's second third Christmas you would want to go ahead for your child, put a tree up, make Santa Claus. If you didn't, that's a representation of yourself and what you're lacking on. If you can't give your child something that you didn't receive, that's on you. That's the help that you need to seek. You don't need to put it on your child and put it out there that he needs to be cold stone because he's no. a man. He needs he needs Santa or he needs the Easter Bunny, whatever it is, the Tooth Fairy. He go needs ahead, all Lose. that. Go ahead, Los. I know you want to say something. You're over here shaking right your head. Yeah. yeah. I agree with her. I just feel like it's, it's all about who you are as a person. No, yeah, we're not saying that a man can't be a good dad and love their kid. It's more like I don't see a man. You know when a, when a mom grabs their baby let's, and caresses them, and you're my little baby. I don't, I've never seen a man do that. And like Sarah, to your point, have. where it came, it came. I have. It came to like, it, like you said, you you mentioned like a Christmas tree. Okay, now here's the difference between a man and a guy. So one day that we had, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, a man and a woman and a guy. <laughs> so when me and Rudy, like let's say if I put Rudy, my boyfriend, to put up a Christmas tree for my son, he's gonna put fucking lights on it, ding, 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 ding. But guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get more in depth. What does my son like? Oh, my son loves dinosaurs. He loves sharks. So I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. I'm gonna put these little details because I know it's what makes my son happy. A guy, a guy just. That's not something that clicks right away from them. But it's when you have a child, they, they, they can do it. They learn they how to play video games. They learn how to get the sniper out. Boom. You're dead, right? You can learn how to put the fucking tree up. And the we, only we, reason. And we're not saying that, they, that they're not capable of doing okay, it. It's just that it, it doesn't not, come in naturally. Yeah, because if they yeah. can learn anything. It's not. Last time, I believe a man got to be a man and a woman. Gotta be I, okay, a but I get it. But yes, you become a father, And I get that, right? but then Wait. you can't place that. You Look, you can't place a man and a woman because then a man has to be placed where a woman has to be. But being. that's what, okay. that's Baloka. If we were this, equal, men, men will be able to give birth. That's we're not wait, equal. It's not that we're equal. We're not equal. What I'm going to say is that. that you, you're the mom's out of the picture. The dad's raising a daughter. She gets her period for the first time. Guess what it is for the dad? The dad got to step up, sit down, and be like, "Honey, you're a woman now. Yes. You got to bleed every month. Here's tampons. Here's pads. I don't know how to do it, but." You, but you gotta figure thing. it out. We're, we're not saying, saying, we're not saying that. that they can't do that. We're just saying that it's not it's the a same. Different, it's a different it's kind of same lo- correct. It's, not the it's same. a different kind. A guy's not gonna. He's gonna be like, "Honey, I'm gonna read the directions on how to put a tampon." Compared to a woman, it's be like, "All right, woman, you're gonna squat. You're gonna do this. You're gonna." It's- the different. Mo- it's a lot different. It's a lot different it's for a different. man to do a women's job. A woman's it's job like, comes natural. Oh, let me a man you, can't be a woman. It's let me ask you guys a question. That's we true. all have mom. Well, our moms and our dads. We all know that the relationship we have with each of them is not the, the same. same. Of course. It's just no the matter same. what. Your dad. My dad didn't teach me to put a tampon in. No, he didn't. But and he will. But my mom also didn't teach me he how would've. to put a tampon. No, he wouldn't. 
He, well, he was going to just I'm let not, you run I, wild. Well, my dad personally. Growing did. up Dominican, I'm, I'm sorry, my mom did not teach me how to put a tampon okay, in. Okay, okay. Am I, okay, we're, we're not saying that, but it's just, what, my, our point is we're saying it's not the same. It's not the same. It's, it's not never going to be the same. So if that's what we're if saying. If you would have went to your mom and asked her how to put a tampon on compared to how asking your dad how to put a tampon on, who would give you the right to walk away from it. me? Like, mm-hmm. Wrap up you know this topic. I mean? We're not saying that the man is not capable of doing that. Yes, they are, especially if they have to. But it's still not the same as if your mom was to teach you what yes the same thing as like, same. i can't really i will never like let's say like this i don't know if sons go up to their dad like how do i jerk off or whatever <laughs> i can't <laughs> i can't teach my son how to jerk off i don't know about how it's am i gonna true, i don't know the feeling it's true i don't know that i can't explain that to my son but i can't explain to my son something like that son, a man does you're gonna feel go ahead frankie do girls go to their moms asking how to masturbate? No, no, yeah, this mom's that. This mom's that. No, but there's a lot. No, and and that's that's no, 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 because there's a lot of fe- there's a lot of girls that do see their moms as a best friend, and I have a yeah. lot of girls that would go to their moms and ask them question personal questions well, like that. Well, because that becomes the same, their best bro. friend. That's what it's we're saying. Not it's the not the same. emotional, emotionally wise. It's not the same. You, this whole thing, woman ain't shit. You guys are right. Woman, a lot of women ain't shit. But please stop making us women that ain't shit, men. Because Y'all at make the end us of the this day, way. it comes back to you. Y'all make you us You make way. us bitter. You make us mad. You guys are cheap. You guys ain't shit. Yes, Period. That, that comes into our next topic of being cheap, which is the chapia- Red flags. <laughs> well, not the red flags, the chapeadoras. All right. Oh, that's right. Red light, okay. green light. <laughs> no, right. no, no, yes. All right. So I feel like we need to talk about the ancient bitches who are choppies out here and fucking using and abusing the good men Ooh. and then they get into an actual good relationship and they don't want to contribute because they've been used and abused mm-hmm. and not every like, nigga is a sugar daddy they're drying ladies. out all the good men yeah they're Sorry. drying them out they're like damn save some for the good the good girls like well, damn I want to be wine and dine and damn, why didn't I sucked all his money why didn't I find them before her fuck That's right true but I ain't complaining. They, they literally like set a standard, and then this guy ends up falling in love, and then they'd be like, mm, "No, no more money, gotta go, ciao, bye." And not again. We're not talking about all men, but a lot of the men just want, just like we, you. Let's not we. Excuse me. <laughs> just like there's women that use or men individuals. for money, men also just use women to fuck them and, and deuces. Mm-hmm. It's and, like, and, oh, and they, they act like they want to be it's a with ploy. you. It's a ploy. Oh, here's some money. You want to go get your nails done, but then they're like, mm, "She's gonna be popping that." Uh, exactly. <laughs> They're not doing it because it's the, from the kindness of their heart. No. And we're not talking about men that are in a relationship with their women. We're talking about men that are just out here just being raggedy as hell. Right. That's what we're talking like, about. Like, here's, here's some money. Go do this. And then you guys want to be like, oh, but women, women are savages nowadays. But why are we savages? Because you guys made us that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot yeah. of men. A lot Straight of men, up. A lot of men love that choppy shit, though. I'm not even going to lie. Because a lot of these women, they do it. And these guys act like. We didn't make it. We showed you the way. That's the what do you mean you showed us the way? Because. <laughs> So then you you can't exactly. complain. Exactly. So that, then you the can't complain are. about the, the savages that we become. Okay. <laughs> I think we. It's 2022 and people are the women are waking up. We're waking no. up. We are we're woke. What's up? And yet, as much as you're using us, I think we were taught you. by the best. I guess Listen, if that's what you I want, had to learn. That's what you want to say. We we were taught by the best, and you guys taught us how to play the game just as well as Listen, you guys. My little da- Better, dating they don't know how to play the game. It's true. They don't. Men get they don't. Every single they time. get back so easy. Every single so it's like easy. So stupid. So like. easy. I don't understand that. I just don't. That's a woman that topic. gets bagged, it takes a long time Listen, to Listen, I'm yes, sorry. My if little, you have a bagger. My little dating rampage. <laughs> it, it, no, it, yes. Amen <laughs> to that. Exactly. My little dating rampage. Like, like you know, I had like my little phase where I was dating a lot of guys. But it, it really taught me how much. Because you talk about choppies. But it really taught me how much I can take advantage of men. It was literally like it, like a... It was just wait kind of to a point it was kind of too easy because again like I wasn't the type of girl that I wanted to like will be like in my bang bus oh like what's up let me lick your ass and I'm just like alright take me out to eat <laughs> <laughs> take me out to dinner baby the fuck I'm sorry take me on a few days let me see what I'm working with you know what I'm saying I hate I it's, it literally irritates the shit out of me uh, listen I have no problem with women dating men dating that's what you're supposed to do yeah. and I feel like until you're in a serious relationship where there's marriage being spoke about, you're still single. So if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, that's cute. But in reality, you're still single because if you stop doing the things that you were courting for your girl from the beginning, then your relationship's going to tarnish and then you're going to end up splitting up. And then guess what? You're back on the market. Ladies, ladies start. um, Sorry to interrupt you. If you're not a wife, 
Stop doing wifey shit. Stop acting like a wife. That's it's, very it's true. It's time to end that. You don't want to put I'm a ring sorry. on it? Bye. Bare I'm minimum. I'm acting like a girlfriend. And let me bare tell you minimum. something. Hint, I've been on a date. Bare minimum. Hint, hint. hint. No hint. more wifely duties if I am not a wife. You don't, if you, if you want your woman to act like a wife, make her a wife. Yeah. Period. If you want your girl to act like a girlfriend, that's it. That's that what that you're gonna get. But if you want her to be a wife, and then you still don't want to, you still want to do what you got to do. That doesn't work either. You got to be fully committed. If you want to, if they you want a wife, definition. then you need to be a husband. You can't expect a wife and not and be a boyfriend. Perform as a husband does with but the like, men that they set unrealistic expectations. Thank you. Like they want to be in a relationship and then they don't. They mm-hmm. really just want some wet. And it's like, boy, just fucking say what you got to say. Say it with your chest. Like, yeah, there's a lot want. of there's a lot of women. Say that it with you your chest. Them, if you tell them, like, yo, all I want is to fuck, they're going to be like, all right. All right, cool. No strings attached, right? Like, let it go. But they I'll call you when I'm ready. If it's really, honestly, I just, this is this is the last message to wrap this, this episode up. Yeah. Life is much. simple. Yo, be straight up. That's it. If you don't want to wife the girl up, yo, I promise you, most likely, if you're honest, she's either going to be like, you know what, yes, or you know what, no, let's just, I, I want a relationship, or she's going to be like, yo, I don't, I, cool, I don't want to. And I agree. I don't want you to be my man either. We could just fucking keep it pushing. No, and I agree. It goes back to ancient women and fuck niggas, whatever it was our topics were. Again, set that. If you're a girl that just wants to focus on you, let it be known. Because, again, don't be fooling niggas and niggas don't be fooling girls. Then they get their heart broken. Aye, mama. Be yourself. And also, also, women, you are not men. And men, you are not not women. women. I agree 100%. Because you can't sit there and be like, you know what? I'm single now. I'm just going to fuck these niggas. Because they're going to catch feelings. Come on. It's It's a women. It happens every time. But, yeah, guys, um, thank you to our audience member. (laughs) Thank no, you, they, everyone. They the audience members that came yes, and showed up, today, and they were here just looking at us fucking crazy. I yes. know, but I we we definitely we the support is crazy. It. Thank, thank you, you so guys much. so much. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're always gonna vouch for the ladies. Yes. Always, yes. always, always. And we're always open to your opinions. Comment below, subscribe, like, share. We're also gonna have a man on the next topic. So yes, guys. And, and we're guys. gonna be Name. talking about red flag, women, red flag, and green and guy, flags. red flags, yeah. and green. I mean, green flags. But who cares about the green? Yeah, flags? I care more about. Red flags. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for the Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.